Hey everyone, Gator Mom here. I'm doing a fun little jujube review for you guys today. I have all of my medium set pieces out here and I decided to just do a quick little review to show you guys a couple of different ways that I like to use my medium set pieces. I think that this particular piece in the jujube three piece set is really underrated if you will a lot of people post a lot that they don't know how to use the medium set pieces and they're looking for ideas and some people just flat out don't like the medium piece for whatever reason the small is really cute and compact for tiny little essentials and then the large piece is just perfect for diapering needs and little clutches um, to go out so a lot of people I think get a little confused on the medium set pieces and in actuality the medium set piece is probably my most used piece so like I said I decided to pull all of them out and just kind of pack them up a few different ways to maybe give you guys some inspiration on how you can use your medium set pieces I'm going to go ahead and line them up just kind of up here on top of my counter so that they're not all in the way when I'm showing you guys each separate one just kind of pull them out of out of the way if you will so I will go ahead and start with my um, Empress print and this is one of the newer ones by Jujube and I have both of my straps here just to kind of show you guys um, in the three piece set those of you that are not familiar with it you have a large piece a medium piece and then a smaller piece and then you also get two straps you get a long strap that you can attach to the end of the pieces to wear crossbody, or you could have the sh uh, shorter strap that you can actually attach and make kind of a wristlet out of the bag if you wanna just carry it kind of over your wrist. The reason I pulled them out for this particular one is because I have this one packed up as a clutch for me. And I will a lot of times use the large set piece for this purpose, but when I went on my cruise actually a couple weeks back, I used this the entire time and it's a little bit more compact of a piece and I preferred using it um, over the large set piece. So I'll go ahead and show you how I would typically pack it up if I'm going to be using it as just a running errand clutch for me. I have my iPhone 6 Plus in here, fits perfectly in there, um, no trouble as far as size, so I have that in there. And then I have a little posh um, snarky hand cream. This is just a little sample since I can't fit my big tube in here. A pack of gum. I have a travel size Kleenex in there. And then I have two little posh sticks, one for my lips, and then I have another one for my headaches. That's a little perk stick. It has some peppermint in it and it feels nice if I get a headache. Small hair tie, and then I have a small little pill case in here. This just has some migraine medicine and ibuprofen, things like that. So that's a nice little compact case. And then I have a Jujube coin purse in there and this just has my um, couple of gift cards that I have and then if I have any cash, it has some cash down in there also. And then I have my small little card holder. This is made by Kate Spade and I've been loving this in all of my bags. It fits really nicely in the BFFs and the Hobo Bees. So it fits great, of course, inside the medium set piece there. So that's how I have the Empress one packed up here to show you guys. Just kind of shoving everything back in here to get it out of the way for the next piece. The next one I'm going to pull down is the Dancing Dahlias. I love this print. It's one of my favorites. I've been buying tons of stuff in it. So in here, I have a Jujube B light bag. Nicely folded. I tend to find that if you fold the bag as opposed to rolling it, it just fits a little bit nicer in here. There's no struggle getting it in and out of here. I like to carry B lights with me when I have big super bees or even if I'm carrying a small hobo bee and I want to have have a bag with me that's a little bit bigger kind of for extra overflow so there's a lot of times that I will have lights in medium set pieces just in case I need them so I'll just kind of show you briefly how I had it folded here I had it folded over um, vertically across and then I folded it in thirds if you will and then just kind of folded the top down a little bit snugger to go perfectly in there so that is just kind of how I had the light tucked in that piece 
The next one I'm going to pull down is the Admiral print, which all of you know I'm super addicted to. And inside this particular medium set piece, I just packed in a change of clothes for my one-year-old. This seems to be a common use for the medium set piece and um, a way that I use it a lot. So I just have a pair of his socks tucked over here. I have a 2T t-shirt rolled in there. And then I have rolled here at the very bottom just a pair of cotton 2T shorts. So. That fits perfectly inside the medium set piece. When my um, middle child, my daughter, was potty training, I was also able to fit a spare pair of panties in here for her when we went out with this particular outfit. So just kind of a side note there. The next one I'm going to pull down is the Perky Toki, super sweet Toki Doki print by um, Jujubee here. I love this piece. Inside here, I actually have my daughter's puzzles. And this might seem like kind of a weird thing to pack in the medium set pieces, but she is going through a crazy puzzle stage. She's almost five and she's addicted to puzzles. And I guess it's odd for me because I never liked puzzles growing up and I still don't like them as an adult. So um, she didn't get it from me. So in here, I just have a little, um, this is just a little Minions puzzle. These are from the Target Dollar Spot and they're her favorite ones. So this is a Minions one that she actually hasn't really been been working on but it's in there and then inside she has her frozen puzzle I just have the paper in here so that she can see the picture of it as she makes it and then in here is just all of the pieces to that puzzle it's not a very big puzzle and what I like about storing it here in the medium set piece is you can open it really really big she can pull the pieces out because she kind of does puzzles in a weird way and doesn't do the four corners or the sides first she's only five so she just puts each puzzle piece together as she sees it so it's nice to be able to see all the pieces down there at the bottom and it's great um, just to grab if we're running into grandma's or running out I can have that for her then I have the super adorable Siamo print here. This is um, another Tokidoki Jujubee collaboration. That's one of my favorites. And in this one here, I actually have a little mini art kit. I do this a ton with the medium set pieces. I have just two of these play pack coloring books. I find that the actual play pack I thought I pulled one down. No, I must not have. But the actual play packs don't fit in here, but the coloring books that come with them fit perfectly inside that medium piece. So you can kind of take out everything that's inside those play packs and then make it um, into here. And then I have two little books. These are from Cracker Barrel, actually. They have great kids books in there. This is just a little hidden pictures one that my kids like. And then this one's a spot the differences which is a super fun one and then I just have a small coin purse that a sweet mama had sent with a bag that I actually bought from her once and I thought it was so neat how the front is clear and the back is just in that um, navy berry I believe it is so it's great for crayons coin purses are excellent for crayons they fit perfectly in there and you can fit a good number in there so I just have their crayons and then I have a little um, Sophia the first pencil and a um, Spider-Man pencil. These are those little um, ones that the, you just pull down and kind of put at the bottom if that makes sense. But um, they have little straw or straw. They have little eraser tops in there so they're just really easy to go out with. And then the only other thing I have down here, I actually usually have two. I have a blue one for my son and a pink one for my daughter. These are just different color retractable pens there. So that's everything I have in the little art kit for the medium piece. Then I have up here the Pixie Dust, another great print. Inside this one, I am actually storing, and I've been storing for quite some time, all of my nail stuff. I don't like to do my own nails a lot of times. I'm not very good at them. I like to get the gel nails at the salon, but if I'm in between appointments and um, want to do my own, this is basically all that I have and all that I use. Pretty, pretty pathetic, but I love Essie nail polish, so that's what I have in here. This is actually the color that I have on right now. This is cashmere matte, so it's super pretty color. I like this one. A couple other nail polishes. These are all Essie again because they are just my favorite at the moment. And I also have in here a little 
um, packet of a couple of miscellaneous jam berries that I do from time to time. A really gross nail buffer. I need a new one apparently. And I also just have down here at the bottom a couple of tools, um, my nail file, I have cuticle pushers, I have nail clippers. So just a bunch of nail stuff in this one. This is a great little thing because I can keep it right next to my end table in my living room and I can do my nails after the kids go to bed and it's just really small and compact and that pixie dust is a really pretty print there. Then I have two more up here for you guys. I have the Royal Envy Medium set piece. And inside here, I actually have it as restaurant needs. This is great because I can just grab this if we're going out to eat, say a place that is comparable to like a Tijuana Flats or a Panera Bread or a Crispers or something that you order the food but it doesn't take forever to arrive. So this is just kind of bare bones basics um, as far as restaurant needs. I have one little snack in here if my youngest is just going super crazy and needs to eat something like ASAP. And then I have in here a little, this is a sassy spoon holder that I got, but I actually have my silly kids stuff in here that I love. I have his little shovel spoon and then his straw topper in there. Works great in that little case. And then I have my Jujube Be Neat for him. This is in the same Royal Envy print. And then I just have a couple of wipes. I have a couple of these Baby Gannix hand sanitizing wipes, a couple of these dapple wipes to wipe his spoon and things off, some disposable placemats. And then the last thing I have back here is just plain old stickers. And the reason I put stickers in there is because my one-year-old can be easily entertained with these for a long period of time. He can take them off, put them on napkins, put them on whatever it is that he needs so it's a nice quick little um, entertainment fix for him and then the last piece I have for you is in the Duchess and in this one here I have all of my planner needs and I like using this a lot for pens the medium set pieces are almost the perfect size for them so I don't do a whole heck of a lot of planner decorating anymore since I got my plum family planner I like to just use some basic stickers I don't use too much of washi or things like that so this is just really nice to throw in my bags if I'm out and about and going to be without the kids and I can play in for a little bit. So I just have a couple of my favorite pens down there and then a couple of calendar stickers in there. And these are all, like I said, just miscellaneous stickers that I do tend to use from time to time. I have some basketball stickers. My son plays basketball. And then these are just more um, calendar stickers back here. So I won't bore you with pulling out every single one, but just to give you an idea as to how many I'm able to store in there which is awesome and that is everything that I have packed up in these medium set pieces the last thing that I did want to touch on that I use these set pieces for all the time is toys for my youngest I know a lot of you probably do that as well my youngest is big into cars these days so the medium set piece is perfect for those small little handheld type toys that he can grab and play with and get out really really easily and it fits a ton ton of toys there's so much more room in there and I've stuffed how many cars in there two four six eight maybe ten in there so you guys can get a good idea as to what fits inside of here but this is a great on-the-go toy bag for sure so that concludes my little synopsis I guess you could say of the medium set piece I hope that you guys found this review helpful and maybe found some new ideas or if you're new to Jujube and wanted to see the actual size and what you can fit inside medium pieces I hope it helped if you have any questions or comments feel free to leave them below and as always I appreciate you watching and I thank you for subscribing I will talk to you soon